Mm -hmm. There it is. It's recording now. So. Okay, so I'm trying to, Kelly, just so you know, because I think Marlon knows already, Darren is trying to flip his classroom for his eighth grade students. Is that right, Darren, eighth grade? Yeah. And right. he's wanting to use Khan Academy to do that, and he had some struggles on Easter Monday with that. And so I just went in and dug around and found some different things that recommended different tools for that. So Marlon, I'm going to ask you, can I take – a folder that I created in my bookmarks and share that with him or do I have to not an entire folder you can export your entire bookmarks but you're not going to want to do that um, so I'll, I'll just put them over on the email yeah okay um, Baron what did so what did you struggle with like signing up all the kids or just understanding the whole how to get it all started and set up or well, I got everything started and I have everything set up, but the problem came down to when I wanted to get the content to the kids. You know, I'm on my profile page, I'm on that stuff, and the other day I loaded all my students so my students were able to get there, but Khan Academy defaults to a math instead of I want to teach the chemistry side of it. Okay. So you need to pick, I want to pick read. you need to pick your curriculum basically is what you're saying. It defaults right. to the math side. Right. Okay. Yeah, because they do language arts and science and all kinds of stuff now. So mm -hmm. um, let me look around in there too and I'll see if how we can set it up so that you can I think you might need to start your class and then you, you pick it, you know, and then the kids yep. go to that class. You'll have like a code to give them or something and a starting point. I, I've done that and I brought my kids to the class. Okay. You know, so we have that. So now the question I'm having is, you know, I go to view class or, or manage students and it pops back into the math instead of the chemistry. Okay. I might just come over to your building then since we're so close and watch you do it once. Yeah. Um, we do um, Dakota step first period tomorrow, so I'll have a little bit of time first period after I get them started on that testing. Okay. So first period will work, or if not, fifth. I'll make that happen. Thanks, man. So, so Darren, when I was in there, you have to wait, Tommy. When I was in there, I was able to watch the chemistry videos. Yeah. So – but the kids, you can't just align them to their class. Is that what you're saying? Right. And see, when, when you pick their curriculum, you can monitor their progress. Like, say, for instance, if I want to give them homework, I can see how much time they spent on their homework. Like last night, I went to my – just for grins and giggles, I looked today to see the progress of some of the students. And I had a couple students – that went on to Khan Academy to do their science, they did their science, oh wait, they did math too, and the math showed up on their student blog. Oh. See, and I also saw some kids that said, they raised their hand when I asked who watched the videos for homework, that said they watched them, and I went in and I showed them, I said, well, something's not right here because it shows zero minutes watched, and you raise your hand to say you watched the video. So. Either you didn't log on right or you're fibbing to me. So that's what I'm most interested in. So I'd like to be able to track to see if the kids are doing what I asked them to do. Hey, Darren, why don't you send me a, send me a link like I'm a student, you know? Can you do that? Log me into one of your classes and I'll go in as a student and, and play with it too. Okay. My, my K-12 account, just do that and I'll be yep. under you for a while until you delete me or whatever. But yep. uh, I just need to get you the class code. Yeah, just, just email me that and I'll log in. So if you see me joining your class, that's why. All right. Hey, can I do that too, Darren? Yes. I, I just want to see it. I mean, not – and then I want you to – Share our grades. <laughs> I'm kidding. How about that? <laughs> Marlon and I'll cheat. And I, I did watch the video. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Ooh, but it shows you we're only on for 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, video. So, so I saw the whole video? Yeah, I see. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, I'll, um, I'll do that and I'll move, move forward with that and I'll keep trying. You know, they, I, I can see that they've done some work and I see that they're progressing on videos, but it just doesn't default to where I want it to vault, to default. So, so did, I, did I talk you into this? Was that a video that I sent you? Did, did that possess you to pursue this a little farther when I, when I explained it and maybe had a little showing of it for you or did somebody well, ask you to do this? Well, early on, you know, I, um, I've been on and off of Khan Academy for a while. Um, I use it as a supplemental tool at my house for my kids. So between them using it, you know, from time to time, you know, the kids don't use it much anymore, but, um, I, I try to push it. And then also, you know, it's, it's just through the videos and I thought, gosh, this would be really easy to be able to do. And I like Khan Academy, you know, I haven't been on this Schoology, you know, I haven't been on that. It's just something that's not completely familiar to me. So um you know I, I guess a combination of everything so yeah it did help marlon okay um yeah and i think i told you teresa and jody from page Schoology, um and yep. and ed Modo. and for you guys that don't know this is jason bruce from woonsocket so hi jason it's hello. nice to see you hello nice to see you can you hear me yeah so is Wednesday a better day for you? Yeah. Tuesday I have lunchroom duty. After school. What was that? You have lunchroom duty after school? No, when you had it during lunch, when you had it during the day, oh, I had it. Okay. But after so. school, it doesn't matter if it's 3.30 on a Tuesday or 3.30 on a Wednesday? No. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so did Darren have to go? I'm sorry, I'm kind of distracted here. I have two kids in my office. Having some problems here. So, have you ever tried flipping the classroom, Jason? Hold on. <laughs> Hey Darren, uh, Jeff. Jeff and Mary might try some Khan Academy too, and he's he's science. She's language arts. I really told them to revisit it. He he said yesterday in our meeting that you know he's like, oh yeah, I reference the videos all the time, and I'm like, just you know, he he said it was pretty clunky to set up, and I, I said I think they've streamlined that process a lot more, and they're gonna do some synchronous and asynchronous teaching next year um and i really want them to use that as a tool so maybe you guys can kind of you know look at it together too and 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 mary mary's on now i don't know if she can hear us but she said she was gonna revisit it with jeff and and kind of get him to take that leap and go into the the classroom management side of it so i hope i hope it works well yeah, yeah we're gonna give it a shot in fact we're probably gonna give it a shot before um, the end of this school year too so and that's why i wanted to try it this year to get it to get the kind of case worked out you know, so i can kind of move forward at, a, at a, a greater rate you know next year and and into the future with some other classes too yeah my thing is i think once you get the hang of it and you see how streamlined it is it'll free up time to do your pbls <laughs> and other stuff well, that you want to do so and i'm always looking for things to free up some time I'm I'm just too busy with coaching three sports and and trying to plan and prep and do all that other stuff out I'm just, just yeah I'm always looking for stuff like that so Darren Michelle teaches with a couple of teachers in Sioux Falls that flip their classroom would you want me to see if they would just have a conversation with you about it or what their tricks are in doing that, that you know, that would be a good idea. I don't know if Angela Wackel does that. Um, I, I don't know Angela, but Barb Newitt is the teacher that I know. Her husband, her and her husband are both science teachers. And they flip the classroom, so they really help each other make that happen. So I'll just, um, she's pretty good friends with Michelle. They what, actually. What level, Mary? I, uh, well, they're AP. 
but still they have to have those tricks of the trade to make it happen right. for their kids. And then even thinking about, you know, Sioux Falls and the diversity, but I'm going to guess kids in AP classes, probably technology is not an issue for them. Although right. you, never, you know, I, sh I shouldn't say that, but I I'm generalizing there as, as to what kind of access they would have at home. So, um, but let me know. I'll, I can make that contact if you want. Yeah, that'll be, I mean, anytime I can talk to somebody that's uh, experiencing something like that, you know, and, you know, maybe I need to look at the Schoology better, you know. Um, I just like the way Sal explains things and the terminology he uses fits in my classroom, you know, and, and I honestly I haven't given Schoology a, you know, two looks and I've given Khan seven, so. Right. Well, in Schoology is not a Khan Academy. Schoology is a place to, for you to pull the videos out of Khan Academy and set up your own, um, just your own plan. So if you don't like all of Sal's videos right. or you want to throw in a quiz, it's that, it's more like an Edmodo where you could put the quizzes in there it will, it will correct them for you. It will take the grades, but, but then you have that diversity of not using only Khan material. You could throw in some discovery mm -hmm. education stuff. Um, and like Jody and Teresa said, they go out and they find like teachers that post their stuff online for the kids and give general access to it. And they yep. found teachers that they just really love how they present material. And then um, they tier their classrooms that way. So they've got a group of kids that can just go independently. Because remember, Worthington is that place where kids don't have access at home. They've got such a diverse population. Right. So she tiers her classroom where kids can go and just get the materials and go to work. Um, then there's that group of kids that might need some mentoring just a, a real low level of mentoring and then she sits at a table with kids that need direct instruction right. and then the video is a tool to supplement that so that's how she does it but she uses Schoology as her like a learning management system so. yeah Darren you're not okay. going to, you're not going to tie are you no I can't I uh, use personal days for other things okay professional but days for Things. There are there are two uh, breakout sessions. There's one Monday for flip the classroom, and there's another one Tuesday. So, if I'm there, I'll grab the information from them, even if I don't go, or if they have a recording or a assembly link with all of the stuff that they did that day, so you can get a pile of good stuff in one day. Um, I'll, I'll get you that information if I'm out there. So that's awesome. I appreciate that. I I'd love to just videotape it with an iPad in the corner and then run away to mine, but we'll see what happens. So. Yeah. All right. So Kelly and Jason, do you guys have anything that we can help you with today? Well, I have my bird book uh, ready to scan and send in. Do you think I send that to Shelly? Um, what do you to send it to her to review or to well they do the ending process of it where it goes to Lulu to get published oh okay yeah if she's done it before that probably is a good idea to send that again to her but if I'll contact her and find out okay yeah and she's in South Dakota so I can ask her to or just make sure that she connects with you and the other question is, I'm looking, I need to uh, get some credit hours. Is there a place, is there anything through FCIL that I could get some good credit hours this summer? Well, um, we are doing a camp in June <laughs> that you can't be at. Oh, I'm I know. I'm wondering if, can you do CEUs or do you need credits? Uh, let's see. I have some CEUs. I think I need to get credits now. I'm wondering if, when, because are you going to come and do camp? Uh, I'm going to do the governor's camp in, in July, July if they have it, if they choose ours. Right, but that will be after the deadline to submit credits. Oh no, I need it for next year. So I'm oh. thinking. I'm wondering if we can um, get you credits for you know, being a part of that camp somehow. Let me know. be awesome. Because that's me. a lot of work. So it would be really, really nice. I'll ask. 
if we just, you know, if we would name a different instructor record or like put Shelly on that or something, um, because there won't be teachers at that, but there'll be teachers at the other. We might be able to get creative on that. So, and I know that Sarah is running some a book study through Mid Central, and there'll probably be one in the fall if you want to do something like that. Okay. And you know, I can do a CEU thing, but um, Sarah offers credit, I believe. So, well, if you hear of anything, would you send it my way? I will. I will. You could start your STEM masters. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Come on. I wouldn't be any good at that. Oh, you know what? It's actually kind of fun, Kelly. Um, we're, we're having a good time in the classes and learning lots. So, yeah. I'm sorry, you guys. I have kids that keep bothering me. Where are you going? Do you need a pen? Tommy's got it. Oh, Tommy. Sorry. Tell, tell them to go plug in the iPads in the cart down at the other end of the hallway. Yeah, I know. They're uh, um, going to 44 to get a snack, so that'll be good. Um, okay, so Jason, how about you? Thanks, Kelly. I'll check on those things, too. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. No, not a lot going on. We, uh, we just completed our Lego club that we started. Okay. And um, we had 75 kids, which was pretty cool. Oh, my so, goodness. Yeah, it went really well. We got a grant from Northwest Energy. Surprisingly enough, they have a lot of money to give away. And I didn't know. We got $1,000 from them. And who told you about that? Uh, one of our mothers works there. She said they have a whole board that you can just apply. If it's anything in your classroom, that's, they just have a whole bunch of money to give away every year. And so you sign up on this form, and they, they just, they didn't even, I don't know, we didn't even sign it. The, lady, the mother signed us up for it, and we didn't do any work. And um, they gave us $1,000 for our Lego club. So I don't know if that helps anybody, but they have a lot of money out there that they're willing to give into communities, and it's just, you know, I don't know how far the reach is, but it was not a hard process for us to do it. So was it Northwestern Public Service or it's called Northwest Energy? Northwest Energy. Okay, I'll see. You know, we've got some teachers down here that are wanting to put their community gardens in and they're about yeah. $250 a box and they're looking for some funding for that. That's great information, Jason. Yeah, they really came through. So that was really neat. So we had a lot of support for that. So that went well. So this was an after school club or was mm -hmm. it um, Two days a session? week. How many? After, two days a week after school. And it went real well. We had a lot of kids. I mean, we only have 125 kids in our elementary. We have 75 showing up. So cool. um, it went really well. We did it for two months. Next year we'll do it a lot sooner, like in the fall when it gets nasty. But we did the challenge. We did um, a building challenge for – you had to have a build the house with windows and different rooms and – amenities and all that we did a maze we had to build a maze for a marble to go through and some stuff like that so it worked out real well so that was kind of nice to get that kind of rolling but we're done with that now that the weather's nice so now we're back to doing a lake project okay so we're back outdoors which is nice so we started our birdhouse building project this week so we're building birdhouses 35 of them with the high school kids so and I have a senior working with me. A senior project is that. So he's kind of running it for us, which is kind of nice to have him help out. So, we have so a, we're doing good. We have a person on the call today that's experienced in birdhouse building. I okay. see that. <laughs> I heard that. So, um, Kelly, where did you get supplies for your birdhouses? Hmm, that's a good question. I think that uh, the shop teacher did up with it for us, or maybe Slim did. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think um, I think Death yeah. Unlimited donated the wood, oh, and yes, the kids came right. up with the, um, came up with the rest of the materials for that. That's right. I remember that now. That was really nice. And we built six birdhouses, nest boxes. Yeah, we're going to do individual birdhouses and one nesting box for the Canadian geese on our lake. So 
we got the donations from our parent club. They're going to donate all the wood. And then the shop class is going to, we're going to trace them out, have every kid do a tracing of it, and we'll do some math with it. And then they're going to cut them out and drill the holes, and then we're, they're going to come down here and put them together with the kids. So yeah. it should be a pretty interesting process. Jason, let me know when that's all going on, if I can get in on any of that and just come see. For sure. And, okay, shoot me an email or, you know, whatever. Yeah, okay. That, we also have game fish and park coming to our lake on May 1st. If you're interested, they're going to pull, they're going to put fish traps out and catch as many fish as they can in our lake and pull them out so the kids can see what they look like and see what kind of fish we have. So game fish and park is going to come down and do that on May 1st. Okay, cool. Yeah, that would be an awesome thing. That would be really cool to be there for that too. And yeah. there, you know, just more resources to share out with other schools because you're certainly not the only school with um, wildlife habitat nearby. <laughs> yeah. Just well, Game Fish and Park is more than willing to come out and help. I mean, they gave us books, and they gave us all these books. They're the, I don't know what they are, the prep pocket guide, and they gave us all the fish books and everything. So they were really helpful, and it didn't take much but a phone call. It did help that, you know, one of their wives works with us, but <laughs> – you know, they're still good people down there that like to help out in the public, you know. And they have all the duck boxes and they have all that to bring and show. So out of, we got the office out of Huron, so. But okay. they were very helpful. All right, good. Kelly, have you had GFNP people come into your office or into your classroom before? No, I haven't, but that little book he showed, that's one of the books that I started with when I was learning about birds and the kids <laughs> used them too it's a good one yeah the kids really love it so it's been neat to go yeah. through it okay all right oh, thank you Tommy <laughs> sorry um, okay anything else how's Jessica good she's doing how's good the baby? getting big She's outside. There. I got her locked out of my classroom. She's waiting to go get Briley from the babysitter. So. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't think that's funny. Well, we'd like to see her too. So. <laughs> I know. I won't let her in. All right. Um, so if you guys don't have anything, we can be done a little bit early today. And if there's anything you can think of, we'll quick address that if, but if not, we'll go. So, Mary Schneider, do you need anything? No, life is good on this end. <laughs> All right. Sounds Thank good. Thank you. Yep. We'll see you guys. Kelly, Kelly right. I'll check the stuff and get back to you. And Jason, we'll keep in touch about some of these activities coming up. Yeah, I'll get a hold of you. Okay. Glad to see all of you today. Have a see great you. week. You too.